وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولَ فَأُولَئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِم مِّنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّيقِينَ والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا What about Mus'ab ibn Umayr who resembled the Prophet Sallallahu in his appearance and character who the Prophet Sallallahu looked at him and knew that he has a beautiful tongue so he sent him to Medina he was the one who went to Medina and when the Prophet Sallallahu migrated from Mecca to Medina he found 88,000 people from Medina that were singing Tala al-Badr alayna min thaniyat al-wada' where did they come from? from Mus'ab ibn Umayr radiallahu anhu before Islam he was the wealthiest before Islam he was the most handsomest before Islam he used to look after himself that he used to put so much cologne and he would look after himself so much that the women of Mecca, when they smelt his perfume, they would stand in a line to wait for him to pass, wanting to attract him. Yeah. Yes, this was Mus'ab ibn Umayr radiallahu anhu. When he embraced Islam, he donated everything he had of his wealth in the cause of those who were more in need. And then in the battle of Uhud, in the battle of Uhud, Mus'ab ibn Umayr, fighting like a lion, defending the Muslims, defending the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when a spear attacked him, it struck him, and then swords one by one, until he had over 70 stabbings, and he fell to the ground. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the companions after the battle was over, he came to bury the Muslimin, the Mujahideen, the Shuhada, and then when they looked at Mus'ab ibn Umayr, they searched through his wealth and he did not find anything with his wealth to cover him. All they could find in his house was a piece of cloth to wrap him up in, the kafan. And when they would cover his head, his feet would show. And when they would cover his feet, his head would show. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Bakhim Bakh ya Mus'ab ibn Umayr. O oh, Mus'ab ibn Umayr, we did not find anything of the wealth just to cover your whole body and bury you in. You donated it all for those who were in need. In Jannah is where we shall meet. Al-Firdaus al-A'la, my dear brothers and sisters. And many, many more of them. Brothers and sisters, their love for paradise made them do the most amazing things. They made them honorable and kings and the most wealthiest, even though in money they didn't have much. They were kings, even though they did not wear crowns and cloaks made of silk and wool of the most expensive type. They were kings and honorable and happy, even though they did not have what normal people anticipate for and think of it to be happiness. Naam, their sadness disappeared when they knew their lost ones made it to paradise. If someone died from their family, it was enough for them, for their sadness to go away when they knew that they had ended up in paradise.